Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Top 5 Advanced Warfare video. This one is the Top 5 Supply Drop Sniper Rifles as voted for by you guys. Now if you want to vote for the next Top 5 video and have your say in what is in the countdown, there is a link down below for the Top 5 Advanced Warfare Supply Drop Shotgun. So check out that uh, poll over there and have your say in the next countdown. But anyway, let's go on with your choice for the Top 5 Snipers. At number five, you guys have gone for the Ransacker, which is actually a professional drop Moors. This one has plus one damage, plus one accuracy, minus one fire rate, and minus one mobility. So plus and minus ones all over the place. So it doesn't actually have much effect on the weapon, but the Moors is obviously probably one of, if not the best sniper rifle in Advanced Warfare. So it's no surprise that you guys have voted a professional version with plus one damage here at number five. Number four, you guys have gone for the Atlas Virtuosity. This is an elite variant of the weapon with minus three damage and plus three handling. Now, the damage doesn't really seem to affect this gun too much, but the handling is quite useful. Now, I know in some videos, people are saying that handling is things like hip fire, but I also believe that it's aim down sight time and recovery after sprinting, because you can't hip fire with this weapon, so otherwise it'd be completely useless, but aiming down sight quickly and recovering quickly after a sprint so that you can aim quicker is going to be very useful and that's how it helps out this weapon. Next up, you guys have gone for the Snapper, another elite version of the Atlas. This one having minus three accuracy, but plus two fire rate, allowing you to fire that bit quicker. Now, I've found with the one-shot weapons, accuracy isn't just recoil, it's also idle sway. Not all weapons have idle sway when you aim down sight, but the Snipers do, and the R1 does, the R1 pistol. Uh, so this is how it affects this weapon, but the increased fire rate, I guess, is a little bit useful. I didn't find it particularly useful, but this one actually looks really cool. Maybe that's why you you guys have voted this here at number three because it's got that nice gold finish and it looks pretty beast I've got to admit. And number two, you guys have gone for the Maud's Silver Bullet, an elite version of this weapon offering plus two damage, plus one accuracy, minus two fire rate, and minus one handling. Now, I do think this would be number one because of the extra damage, which always looks great, but practically on this gun, the extra damage doesn't seem to do much, and a slower fire rate on a weapon that already shoots quite slowly isn't actually that advantageous. Uh, the, ga the camo on this gun is cool, though. You've got that red and gold. I think that might be another reason why it's quite high in the countdown i really like the look of this weapon uh, but not quite number one for your choice for the top five snipers So number one and your choice for your favourite sniper rifle supply drop weapon in Advanced Warfare is the Doctor. This is an elite variant of the Mords. Minus one damage, minus one accuracy, plus two fire rate, plus one handling and minus one mobility. Now we found often with a lot of the weapons in Advanced Warfare, changing the mobility just by one doesn't change much. You can forget about that stat, but the plus two fire rate, very useful with this weapon. Obviously you have to rechamber every time that you shoot it, so being able to recover and get another shot away quickly if you miss your initial shot is obviously a huge advantage to have and especially if you forgot to equip a secondary to swap out to when you miss your first shot. Obviously handling might help a little bit with the quick scoping, a little bit of the ADS time, recovery time after sprinting, minus one accuracy and minus one damage, like I say, don't really affect the weapon so much. So really, this is probably stats wise the best sniper rifle in the game, which is why you guys have more likely than not chosen it as number one. So that's it for the top five Advanced Warfare Supply Drop Sniper Rifles as voted for by you guys. The voting for the next video, which is the top five Supply Drop Shotguns, is down in the description below. If you've got to this point in the video and you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button. Really appreciate your support, guys, and it only takes a second of your time. Also, maybe take a second to check out my sponsors. There's some links below to cheap PC games and custom-built PCs, as well as annotations on screen and links in the description to more of my top five videos, as well as loads of other content that you might have missed so make sure to check it out and of course subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already anyway that's it for now guys i'll see you next time